This is example 8.3. Example 8.3 reads, the walking of an 80 kilogram subject is found to have an energetic cost of 0.8 calories per kilogram meters when he walks at 80 meters per minute. How many calories will he burn when walking 5 kilometers at this pace? So first let's write down everything we're given. We're given a mass of 80 kilograms. We know his energetic cost is 0.8 calories over kilogram meters. We know his velocity is 80 meters per minute and his distance is 5 kilometers. So this energetic cost shows that he loses 0.8 calories for every kilogram of his weight for every meter he walks. So first let's decide, first let's figure out the number of calories per meter he will burn for his entire body. So what we'll do is we'll multiply this energetic cost by his mass. And we will see that kilograms are going to cross out in this equation. We will plug this into our calculator. This gives us 64 calories per meter. Now, we know that he's going to burn 64 calories for every meter he walks. We know that he walks 5 kilometers, so let's convert this into meters. So what we can do is then multiply this distance times his energetic cost to find out the total number of calories he's going to burn for his 5,000 meters. We will see that meters crosses out, and we'll plug this into our calculator. We find that he will burn 320,000 calories. Now this seems like a really large number, and the reason it seems so big is because the calories you're used to seeing on, for example, a can of soup is actually kcals. So either you could leave this as 320,000 calories and it could be the correct answer, but you could also convert it into kcals, which is the calorie we're used to dealing with on a daily basis. So to do so, we can do a simple multiplication. And we know, and we know that there are 1,000 calories in one kcal. And we'll plug this into our calculator. So we also find that he burns 320 kcals. Either of these answers are correct as long as you have the correct units on it. Now notice how we never used this velocity that was given in the problem. The reason was because we simply didn't need it to solve the equation. So just because you're given extra information, do not let it confuse you when solving for a problem. This is example 8.3.